This is part C of the question we worked on about Leah. Leah wanted to earn at least $120 per month. She babysits for $5 an hour and she works at an ice cream shop for $8 per hour. So this is the equation we made from parts A and B, $5 per hour babysitting plus $8 per hour at the ice cream shop and she wants to earn at least. So she wants this money to be at least, aka more than or equal to $120. Okay, and if we read the rest, it says Leah cannot work for more than a total of 20 hours per month. So she has a restriction. That means the hours she works babysitting plus the hours she works at the ice cream shop cannot exceed, so it has to be less than or equal to 20 hours. All right, but now for part C, they changed it up a little bit. This is the question for part C. If Leia babysits for seven hours this month, what is the minimum number of hours she would have to work at the ice cream shop to earn at least $120? So the equation we're going to use is this one for now. They said that she wants to babysit for seven hours this month. And the babysitting was represented by X. So it's going to be five times seven. And we're solving for the ice cream shop, AKA Y. So from here, five times seven is 35. And then what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to subtract 35 on both sides. I am going to stop here and just remind you that you should always look for the calculator icon. That means that the calculator was allowed in this question, so you could use it. Feel free to use it to answer this question. All right, so what kind of 8y comes down? A positive one. And then from here, if you were to subtract these two numbers, sorry about that. If you were to subtract these two numbers, you would get 85. Now what you're going to do, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide 8 on both sides. And I'm going to put the answer right here. I'm going to put that y has to be greater than or equal to whatever 85 divided by 8 is. So since it's a calculator question, I am allowed to use my calculator as well. And you get... 10.625 hours but if you read the last part of the question give your answer to the nearest whole number so I need to take this and change it would you round up or would you round down you would round up because this number is bigger than a 5 so you would say 11 hours as your final answer